Hello and welcome to card layout number 73 with me, John Bloodworth, Gentleman Crafter. You've just been seeing there the card that I'm going to make in this video and I will be using the Bloom and Wonder Pad from first edition. Lots of beautiful bright patterns going on in this collection and a nice heavyweight cardstock as well. So if you're ever looking for some pattern papers, do check out that range from first edition. They've got loads. This is the layout that I will be using during this particular video. Just three simple rectangles, plus I've added another one, just a bit of a spoiler alert there. There were some dies that I'll be using, and these are the two papers that I've chosen from that paper pad. And this time around, I've decided to use a coloured cardstock for the card base, which as ever is 6x4. I'm chopping the papers down according to the layout sizes, and of course, as ever, you can download this pattern from my blog, gentlemancrafter.com, uh, where you'll find the other 72 available as well. Uh, so yes, do get that. It's got all the measurements on it. So papers chopped. Now for putting this down. Now this layer wasn't shown in the original layout that I sketched. You can see top left. However, with the printable version that you can get from my blog, I have included the size for this particular layer. I'm rolling two corners just for a bit of something different to this one. And then I'm using the book binding glue as ever for a nice, uh, what, a nice what? Uh, to stick it down. <laughs> I'm not sure what a nice something was going to be with that, but. Oh, a nice flat gluing rather than a warpy wonky one. That'll be the one. Other layers going on as well with that same glue. And basically those two layers meet in the middle, so it's kind of easier to position these ones rather than using the gridded ruler as I sometimes do. Now there will be a central panel in the middle there with obviously all the bits and pieces on, but I decided to edge this with a green ink to match the background cardstock, so it's tying all those colours together from back to front. It's a pigment ink and I'm blending it off and hopefully you saw a bit of the difference that can make there. Rather than it being just a harsh, solid edged colour, it does then give me varied tones around that edge. Almost like a vignette. There you go, there's a better thing and I hold it still. Okay, on to the die cutting and I've got various dies here that I want to use. But rather than you sit and watch me die cut all of them, because I need multiples of some of the individuals, bish bash bosh, here they all are. So with the leaves, I'm going to shape them. With the words, I'm going to stack them. And with the flowers, I'm going to shape them. And there you go. That's all that done. That was quick, wasn't it? Okay, the central panel I am going to layer up so that it sits proud of the card. Uh, that's also particularly useful when you're doing um, dimension in other areas, like the folded corners. Not folded, rolled corners. These little twiddly bits I'm going to stick behind the card, so they're coming out from behind it. I'm just basically eyeballing it to make sure that it works still, because the current layout is in my head. Not always a great place to store things. Sometimes they get lost. Sometimes they get forgotten. Occasionally they do come back. Sometimes that's good, especially when trying to speak. So I'm popping that down onto the card. There you go. The sentiment's going to go in the center of that panel, of course. You could offset it if you wanted to. Or, of course, well, really, you could just do whatever you want your card you make it the way you want it now the leaves the idea was a big and a small one for the two corners and I chose to put them in the same corners as the rolled corners but of course you could switch it up and have these at the opposite corners so therefore it might even balance things out a bit more but I'm just going with it for now and of course that just gives me more options for the future Thanks for all the feedback, by the way, on the other things, uh, the layouts I've been doing. 
it's very much appreciated and I do enjoy reading them. Of course, as with this one, just feel free to leave your comments wherever you find this video. A couple of gems in the flowers to finish it off and that is number 73 done. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again for number 74. That's it for this time. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And for more from me in the future, please remember to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.